God is so good and he intends to bring great glory to his name. He intends to finish and he not only intends to, but will and promises to finish the good work that he started in you in the day of Christ Jesus. What's up, what's up, beautiful people? I love you so much, and I am so happy that you're here. My name is Emma, and I wanna encourage you today that God is not done with you. I think that sometimes we can get into this mentality that I'm too young or I'm too old for God to continue or to start doing a work in me I'm too young or too old to make an impact in this world. I'm too young or too old for, for God to use me for his glory to reach people. I beg to differ, friend. There was this statement that I remember hearing a lot in high school of like, I've peaked. Like senior year of high school, I peaked. College years, peaked. Like basically saying, this is the best that it's going to get. Like this, this is the best my life is ever going to be. And I just want to challenge that thought that every single day of your life was written in God's book before a single one of them came to be. And our God is a purposeful God, meaning that every single day, every single age, every single season and stage of your life is so purposeful that God intends to use to work in you, to walk with you, and to bring great glory to his name. I was so encouraged in this reality when I was reading in Exodus 7, and it says that Moses was 80 years old, and Aaron was 83 years old when they confronted Pharaoh to, to tell him to let God's people go. 80 and 83. Abraham and Sarah were well past childbearing age when God said, you are going to have a son and you're going to name him Isaac. Sarah's literally like, Psh, do you know how old I am? I really kind of see this as a limiting factor. <laughs> I, I really don't see how this is a possibility. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know how that's going to happen. And then we look at Josiah. And he's eight years old whenever he steps into reign as king to lead, God, to lead God's people eight years old and you know what took place in all three of those scenarios god was glorified through moses and aaron he revealed his glory he revealed the the mighty works of who he is he revealed his name he spread fame of who he was throughout the whole land through moses and aaron being 80 and 83 years old Sarah and Abraham ended up having a son just as the Lord said and the Lord was glorified through it because with God all things are possible what we consider to be a limitation God actually sees it as a space in which he can bring great glory to his name King Josiah at eight years old is submitting to the word of God, not turning to the right or to the left as he leads God's people, making an impact to that generation for the glory of God. I want to encourage you. You are not too young for God to use you and you are not too old for God to use you. God is so much bigger than than what we see as a limitation. And so I want to encourage you to not discount what God can do just because of how old you are or because of what you experienced or lack thereof. God is so good and he intends to bring great glory to his name. He intends to finish and he not only intends to, but will and promises to finish the good work that he started in you in the day of Christ Jesus. And so I just really wanted to encourage the person tuning into this video who is discounting what God can do in and through your life because of how old you are. Take those dreams to the Lord. Submit them to Him. Go out and be obedient in what the Lord has called you to do. Love people well. Spend time in His Word 
Invest into what God has put in front of you. Steward faithfully what God has entrusted to you, knowing that God's not done. He's so purposeful. If Moses and Aaron were 80 and 83, and they led God's people out of slavery and into the freedom God had for them, if, Mo if Abraham and Sarah were past childbearing age, and yet God gave them a son, if Josiah was eight years old and led God's people as their king, that goes to show that God really is not limited by our age. Seek the Lord. Be obedient. Be available. Be faithful. And I love how we are ensured God can do exceedingly, and He's able to do exceedingly and abundantly greater things than what we could ever ask or imagine according to His power at work within us. Don't discount what God can do just because of your age, but see your age as a unique time in your life for God to do a unique work to bring great glory to himself and to work in you to look more like Jesus and to have influence and impact in the world and the community around you for, for the sake of his name. Didn't that just hype you up? You haven't peaked. <laughs> Your best is not behind you because you just graduated college. You, you aren't done. The best is not waiting for you 10, 15 years down the road because you're still in high school. Right now, right here, where you're at, how old you are, God is working. Paul said to Timothy, he said, don't let others look down on you because you are young, but set an example. Steward this age faithfully. Steward this space God has you in faithfully. And set an example through your faith, your conduct, your love, your speech, and your purity. Pour into the people around you and trust that God's doing what only He can. And in every age, every stage of my life, God is doing such a beautiful thing in such a unique way. I, that encourages me so much as I'm stepping out of college and stepping into a new season I've never been in, it encourages me to know God's still working. And just because he did so many incredible things in high school and college and now I'm in a new season, it doesn't mean that his incredible works have stopped every single year, every single age, every stage of my life is purposeful and beautiful. So be encouraged. God's not done, friend. I love you so much. Be sure and comment down below how this encouraged you. Share this with a friend who may have been battling with this. And let me know what you want to talk about on this YouTube channel. Where in scripture do you want to go? Be sure and give a thumbs up, subscribe, and know that you are so, so valued and so on purpose, even today, no matter how old you are. Bye, guys.